got to make it stand. Junior from Fordham, Cole Stevenson. Junior from Fordham, Eric Ollendorf. Sophomore from Fordham, Giannis Luba. Junior from Fordham, Yannick Luba. Congratulations to the 2016 All-Championship team. Now, at this time, we would like to recognize the most outstanding player of the 2016 championship. This individual was selected from the All-Championship team based on his outstanding performance throughout the championship. He recorded three shutouts and 11 saves. From Fordham, Rashid Nuhu. Congratulations, Rashid Nuhu. Atlantic 10 men's soccer champion, finishing with a record of Senior Andrew Hickey of the A-10 champion Fordham Rams. I'm talking about it. Andy, an unbelievable final game. Nothing, nothing. Going to penalty kicks. Uh, how how exciting was it to play in a game like this? Honestly, I think as the game went on, we just kind of felt that if we bowed through it, that we're going to get rewarded at the end of it. I'm just so proud of these guys. You know, we've worked so hard this year behind the scenes. You know, in games, we had a rough start to the season, but to be able to put in a performance and concede no goals in tournament is, is something to be seriously proud of, especially from the coaching staff who've always prepared us for every single game. So, and honestly, I'm speechless, and to be a senior and to be able to lift a trophy like that is, is the best feeling in the world. Matt Lewis said before the tournament started, defend, defend, defend. You can see no goals. Talk about your performance of your back line and then knew who there in the PK shootout with three saves to win the title. Yeah, honestly, like Matt, Matt was around when we won in my sophomore year, and that's one of the reasons why we defended for the whole 90 minutes and 120 if necessary. And I think, you know, Rashid is just a top, top class. You know, we're so comfortable with him being behind us that we weren't even phased that when we went to penalty kicks that we, we knew we'd win the game. Well, thanks so much, Andy. Enjoy with the rest thank of your you, team, and we'll you see you so in the NCAAs. Absolutely, thank you. We're here with sophomore goalkeeper. Rashid Nuhu following the Rams A-10 championship win in a PK shootout. Rashid, everything comes down to you in the PK shootout. Three big stops. What were your thoughts going into the shootout? Um, going in, I guess trusted myself. I knew like I was going to save either one. So I was like confidence going in. And my players had confidence in me too. So like, that even boosted my confidence. And like practicing with Janos, Yannick, Mamela and them, that made me even better. So. I just shout out to all of them for making me better and like, thanks to them. Like, without them, I wouldn't be out here saving PK, so I was shout out to them. Before the tournament, Matt Lewis preached about defend, defend, defend the entire championship. You guys do not concede a goal over the three games. How big is, was that for your confidence going forward each game as it progressed in the tournament? I'm coming into this tournament, like I didn't know we we're going to keep like three clean sheets. That wasn't like anything like I could have even thought of, but like I trusted them, 
try to like coach them through it, like giving them commands and everything. And through their belief in me and my belief in them, we all came together and we made it, we made it happen, having clean sheets in three games. Well, congratulations, Rashid. Enjoy it with your teammates, and we'll see you in the NCAA championship. Thank you. We're here with head coach Jim McElderly following the Rams' shootout win in the A-10 title game to win their second A-10 title in the last three years. Jim, you said it before the game, this was going to be a tight contest, tough game, and it's exactly what happened. Talk about the effort by your team today. Yeah, we were exhausted, I think. We, we knew about halftime that it was going to be one of these games that we were just going to have to gut out. Had a couple of guys that just couldn't uh, get over the injuries that they had, and, and other guys really pushed it. We had some players, Tim Stoik and uh, Bart Gigius step in, and, and Chenzo, guys who hadn't started for us and really came in and helped us out. Dante Greer, all coming off the bench uh, to help the guys who started. Just really proud of a, a real team effort. Uh, it was tough. VCU played really well. They had a couple of great chances to score and our guys just blocked shots. Uh, and then I thought we won it in overtime with Eric's header and their keeper made a fantastic save. Uh, but what can you say about Shido? He saved three. He was up next to take a penalty. So uh, it would have been interesting if he would if we got to that fifth shooter. But uh, just so happy for the, for the group and uh, really proud of him because I, I, I think uh, today was a tough game, but we didn't concede a goal in, in the three tournament games. So I think we're worthy champions. Matt Lewis talked about defend, defend, defend. You said three clean sheets. How proud are you of this back line and, and, and the team, the team defense as a whole to not concede a goal for you know almost 300 minutes of action? Oh yeah, but Chris Bazzini playing kind of on one leg uh, there at the last 20, 30 minutes there. Matt Lewis has been a rock for us all season. Jorgen's been. Uh, I think he played the most minutes of anybody on the team. And obviously Andy, really happy for Andy too, being a senior, um, leading this group. Uh, you know, he was a sophomore last time, just one of the one of the guys, and now he's leading the group to second uh, championship and just really proud of the group. Well, congratulations, Jim, and we'll see where we're going in the NCAA tournament tomorrow. Thanks for coming down, Scott.